This is the BioPro 190. Today we're going to talk about how we fill it up with oil, how we make a batch, and then how we wash a batch. You'll notice that it has ports that are simple to use, and we have pre-measured amounts that we'll be using throughout the process. We have sight glasses where we can indicate when we have items in it, and we have areas on it where we can put the oil in, and where we can put the sulfuric acid in. To begin making the biodiesel, we're going to simply pour oil into the machine. Oil can, can be put into the machine through a variety of ways, using new oil, in carboys, in buckets, in pails, or with a filler pump. The goal is just to get 50 gallons of oil in this machine so we can make biodiesel. Once you get the oil to the fill line, then you're ready to go on to the next step. It even has a nice thing to show you just where it is. The first thing you do is we cut open our lye packet and then we place this packet of lye into the machine in the appropriate spot. You'll notice that it pours right in, simple, in pre-measured amounts, then we put that back on. One of the things before you put methanol in, it's always important to keep your methanol sealed. This drum has just come open, it's a 55 gallon drum of methanol. You'll need to check regulations in your area to make sure you can store that much. Simply put in a chemical pump and shove it in the hole and you'll begin pumping. We simply begin pumping in a pre-measured amount of methanol and we know we're done when we fill it up through this window here. This window is a sight glass which allows us to see just how much methanol we've placed in the machine. You continue to fill the machine until you see the sight glass come halfway up. You then remove the tube from this one and immediately seal the cap. The next step is to place methanol into the methoxide chamber. It's important that you stand back because as you pour the methanol into here, fumes will begin to emit. Make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area and make sure you're practicing good safety standards. Always make sure you wear your gloves and your safety goggles. You know when to stop when the methanol has reached the midpoint in this sight glass. Once you're there, you're all ready to go on. Once you've placed all the methanol in the machine, simply walk up to the front, push the big green button, and wait for the machine to come on. This machine has come on, the stir has come on, and now we're about to place sulfuric acid. Open up the tank, open the sulfuric acid, making sure to stand back, place it all into the machine, seal the machine back up, and you're done. We want to show you just how well this thing mixes up. This is oil sitting at a standstill, and now we're going to kick on the stir. Notice how agitated it gets. We begin a nice agitation, and then everything just starts bubbling away and gurgling. That's exactly what you need to make a good biodiesel reaction. Good, good mixing, plus lots and lots of heat. Your oil will go from a nice dark brown into this coffee looking color, and what that means is that the reaction is occurring. We've come back the next morning, and we have converted biodiesel. We have a nice reaction. What you're looking for is a very distinct difference between the two layers there. And that's what we have here. To drain the glycerin, you remove the cap from the front of the machine. Then you attach the included spud hose. Then you open your glycerin container and into the glycerin it goes. You'll notice that the glycerin is a much darker color than the biodiesel and it'll also be thicker. We're almost done with the draining of the glycerin. The level is going down. Now we're going to fill another container. In cool weather, we recommend to use some vinegar in your wash water. Pour in simply a gallon of vinegar into the wash barrel. This will help keep the biodiesel from emulsifying. It's also helpful to stir it into the mix as well. With the machine ready to wash, we can now start the process. This includes walking up to the machine, pressing the reset button, 
pressing this wash start button, removing the lid, and letting the machine begin a wash. Within moments, the machine will begin spraying water into the machine. And a beautiful mist to begin the washing process. The machine has now been running for a few hours on its washing, and you'll notice that as the water work sprays into the machine, it separates. The heat is on, and it is washing the biodiesel. Once all the washing is completed, it will dry the biodiesel. Once the drying is done, the finish light will come on, and then you can connect your hose to it and pump your fuel directly into your car. This fuel looks crystal clear. It has just a golden, lovely brown color to it all the way through. You're able to use it in the vehicle. And congratulations, you're done making biodiesel. All that in under 48 hours.